third panel discussion uh, uh, i'm going to start for this we uh, the topic is effect of school leadership on student learning i would request dr piyush gupta chief consultant from ministry of electronics and it to come as, come on the stage as moderator can we have a big round of applause for him welcome sir thank you very much and uh, thank you dr manpreet for making the things very very easy because waking up academicians after lunch is slightly dicey because classes school sab afternoon tak hote hain uske baad almost close ho jata hai so thank you very much for that so the topic is uh, very exciting but uh, we have a constraint on the time also i was told it depends on your skills how you squeeze it into half of the time what is there right so i don't know how many of the panel members are there i'll first invite them then we'll get this thing started uh, dr chitra anand administrator singhis uh, high world school ambala is she there yeah please uh, dr vanna sahi principal bcm school ludhiana yeah uh, miss anju mehta principal dcg international school rajpura yeah dr divya basin principal mata rukmani rai rsn secondary school shahabad dr divya she there no okay uh, miss then we have uh, miss aparajita gupta principal saint anthony public school lucknow uh, miss aparajita yeah yes yeah, sure. okay uh, dr gurmeet kaur gill principal dashmesh nursery school mukheria yeah. then mr rajiv kumar shukla principal saraswati vihar senior secondary school saharanpur mr rajiv yeah then uh, dr raj sangwan principal arya group of institutions charki datri and uh, mr bhavik khurana head strategic partnership kedex have i missed out anybody mr anil mukheja principal raj international school rewadi Great. so we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and myself 10 and i don't know how we are going to squeeze it but the topic on leadership has been always very very exciting because uh, when we talk on leadership we have been talking it about it from the top level leader leader is always somewhere on the top okay but today when we talk of leadership leadership is totally different we are not really looking at just the team building motivator but we are looking at totally a different type of leadership okay if i may permitted in technology we use disruptive technology okay so covid did that okay it totally changed the way all of you were teaching so it was a disruptive teaching pedagogy i'll call it okay so leadership also we need to look at disruptive okay so the definition of leadership in education again it would be basically now more challenging also because so we have so much of confusion on technology or it could be a blended learning or it could be how do you really blend technology elements into your regular day to day classroom activities okay because when we talk of blended it normally looks at online online and offline mix of it but when we talk of blending in a mixed manner okay how do you use a video from youtube and on the same page same same particular uh, uh, page of a uh, of a, of that movie 
can you bring out different components learning components for the child i come from organization i don't know it will be totally a, a new i think for many of you a organization which works under ministry of electronics and it government of india it's called common service center so common service center is one of the very big initiative of government of india which started long time back around 2009 to set up centers in the villages where all government services would be available in a online format for the villagers so villagers need not really travel anywhere out so that was the main purpose and today we have whatever you can think of all services are available over there okay in terms of whether it's uh, the normal registration for particular government scheme or is it it, it, it could be covid registration mobilization of villagers to take them to the uh, to the particular nearest vaccination center or it could be under pradhan mantri uh, shram rozgar registration or it could be creating digital literacy each and every household in the rural india create digital and financial literacy program so it talks about general services it talks about education program and we have somewhere around 4 lakh centers across the country each and every village has these centers and the biggest best part is they are not really run by business uh, so called uh, commercial angle they are run by village entrepreneurs so anybody housewife or anybody in the village who is interested to do something from their home a single room is required and they can set up a computer printer biometric because we have authentication from uid all those things happen and that's it they get started of course internet is uh, the key uh, food for that so based on that now these 4 lakh is one part of it the second where i come from is the education segment that's why i'm i'm here so there's a big focus of how do you really make education accessible affordable and quality same quality what is available in the urban or better than that in the rural segment okay so i do the film video is done so i'll just show you a small video which will give you some glimpse of a transformative leadership disruptive leadership if you look at
This is a small glimpse of what really is happening in the at the grassroots level. If these are those particular schools areas where Balvidale has been opened, which are very very remote in the rural or tribal areas where they are really working on them. And the beauty is these are run by the village entrepreneurs as a more of a social involvement. Okay. So when we really look at leadership, where does it start? It's a it's a big question. It's a lot of food for thought. Normally, we think leadership would be at a principal level, or it would be somewhere at the uh, government of India or state level. So, where really is the leader? So, I think uh, let, let's start with the uh, first. Uh, as we are here, we can start the discussion. So, the pointer for uh, discussion is how leadership plays an important role in the change and performance improver, improvement in the school. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yes, leadership. Without leadership, we cannot uh, run any organization or any uh, team. So, uh, leadership. Uh, if we talk about a school or an organization, uh, principles, of course, are the in front. Functional and instructional leadership. Uh, plays an important role in the schools cadre. So when we talk about the functional uh, leadership, of course the management or uh, those who are owning the school, they play a very important role. If their vision is not good or if they are not visionary, then it all depends upon a principal who is the instructional leader there. Day-to-day -day working and uh, planning for the whole year. 
now when we go to a class teacher at the root level is the leader there if a teacher is not able to control the class or cannot plan the things then uh, we cannot we cannot uh, get a good outcome from the students but there is a sync there should be a sync between the top instructional leadership and the root level instructional leadership if they do not have a good uh, understanding or what uh, what we want to get out of the students then there is a problem so uh, in both ways uh, now if we see uh, reimagining we were discussing uh, we were discussing about ICT if we have to bring a bring changes in the school system then the instructional leader the principal has to uh, work hard with the teachers if he is not able or she is not able to get in touch with them or make them understand what he or she wants and what we our parents are expecting from us so it happens means uh, we are not going to get anything so recently we faced pandemic and we were not knowing that what is going to happen in future or after 15 days or one month nobody was prepared to take a lead uh, for the online classes or video lessons or anything else so because it was not expected and it was not planned for how long it is going to take place or means how long the schools will remain closed so that was the leader uh, when a principal has to take a call that if he has a vision or she has a vision ki ab hame kya karna chahiye kis tarah se schools ko chalayenge lessons kaise aage chalenge to agar aap dekhenge aapke paas sabke paas mobile hai aap youtube pe jayenge aur ris academics mere raj international school ka short hai ris academics to jaise hi 15 din guzre the 15 days abhi hue the lockdown ko management ke sath meeting hui to kya karna hai sir classes kaise chalengi so main apne rewadi city ki social committee ka member bhi tha to mujhe kuch expected tha ki this will go for 2 3 4 months and hame kuch classes ko online hi ya kuch aur substitute iska dekhna padega and i sent a message to my teachers on whatsapp group ki sab apne apne ghar se apna apna ek 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 topic ka video bana kar mujhe whatsapp kariye because school sab close the और मैं प्रिविलेज था एक मुझे आउट पास मिल गया था और मैं बाहर घूम रहा था सोशल वर्क के लिए भी और वैसे भी तो मेरे टीचर्स ने मुझे वीडियो बनाकर भेजा और मैंने मैनेजमेंट के साथ मीटिंग करके कि सर ये वीडियोस हम प्लान कर रहे हैं दो द क्वालिटी इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज इट वाज द फर्स्ट टाइम बट येस आई शोड कॉन्फिडेंस इन माई टीचर्स वट दे सेंट मी आई गेव अ फीडबैक टू दैम कि हाँ तुमने अच्छा किया है और और अच्छा हो सकता है but then dheere dheere schools khulne lage and we have uh, professional uh, videos in our school for parents were very happy ki itni jaldi uh, jo schools dusre schools ko chan academy ke videos ya dusre videos dal rahe the hum apne videos dalne lag gaye the and later on we started online classes and everybody started with that some of having good platforms so now if the management was not functional there had they not been supporting the principal and the principal was not taking a lead to change the things to change the system it would not have been possible so leadership of course plays a very important role because leaders are the face of the school to the society and uh, they are uh, controlling a good stuff behind them backing up uh, them isi tarah se ek aur problem aayi jahan pe leader ko decision lena tha school mein सभी के साथ आता है ये हुआ होगा पेरेंट्स गेव अ कंप्लेन कि बच्चे सुबह जल्दी आते हैं क्योंकि स्कूल बस सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आ जाती है सेवन ओ क्लॉक आ जाती है और बच्चे भूखे ही आ जाते हैं स्कूल में और ब्रेक जो है वो रिसेस हमारी सबकी टेन थर्टी या इलेवन ओ क्लॉक के आसपास होती है सो वट वुड बी द सोल्यूशन देयर बच्चों को खाना या ब्रेकफास्ट कैसे किया जा सकता है so i ask the teachers and i ask the students and i ask the parents also ki you tell me a solution for this i'll take a call and what what is the what would be the best solution for this so they said ki kuch aisa ho jaye ki assembly ke aas paas kuch ek chhota sa break ho jaye most of the schools now having a fruit break 
So I started a fruit break after the first period. Assembly होने के बाद first period हुआ एक घंटे का time लगभग हो जाता है और उसके बाद एक 10 to 15 minutes का fruit break हुआ. We applied that. But वहाँ पर एक problem आया कि जो बच्चे लेकर आते थे fruits वगैरह वो तो खाते थे बाकी बच्चे नहीं ले पाते थे. Then I take a call. कि it is a compulsory that everybody will bring some fruit, some sprouts, some salad. Or something which he would or she would take during that fruit break of 10 minutes, and that will give a boost to their energy, and later on they will have a lunch. So it all is leadership. If leadership is not there, then the decisions won't be taken at the right time, and will not get the right results. Thank you. Can I have Mr. Shukla on this? Thank you, sir. <coughs> Actually, if we talk about the school leadership, schools are known by the principal. In what way they run the school, what policies, what good academic qualities, they work on that, they are known by that. A big infrastructures, high salaries, a good campus, it doesn't make a school life. It is a principal, it is a school leader. who makes the school live. By the last two years, on a lighter note, I have to say, we are not working as educator, we are simply working as a recovery agent for the banks. Whatever skills we have, totally we use to take the revenue for the school. But anyhow, the principal works on school development, child development, staff training. If your principal decides, I have to apply this ideology in my school. If you leave your home in the morning, when you go to school, with the thought that this should be applicable in my school today, that makes changes. A very small work in a day. A little drop I did daily. That makes changes after some time. Continuously, we have to work hard for the development of our school. In my school, simply I say to students, the younger ones, education is not so much complicated as we have made it. Made it. Simply a primary school works on just three thoughts. Reading, writing, and speaking. If a child two or three plus, plus two or three student, they can speak well, they can write it, they can read the newspapers. It's sufficient for them. If we go in the higher classes, six, seven, eight junior level, I always say, every student in my school should try to come up on the school stays at least once in a school time. Things look different whenever you are watching from there and you are here. Every child has to understand the difference of these two. One more thing I used to say in my school, for the 9th students, whenever you are going to choose class 11th streams or subjects, be careful. While choosing class 11 subjects, you are not going to choose your stream or subject for the time being. You are going to decide what kind of lifestyle you are going to live for the upcoming 35 years. It is not a matter of science or commerce. It is not a matter of mass or bio. It is a matter of your life. But mostly, after so many seminars, after so many Thoughts, it's still students and parents are totally confused and on that. A school leader also works on the school development. In the class 9th and 10th, we have rainwater harvesting system. By the last so many years, we used to teach the students in that. They write a project, they cut the photograph, paste it, 
everything to do. But in my school, I made them understand in the physical way. We are having more than five acre campus. We developed four points for the rainwater harvesting. We are saving each and every drop of the rainwater nowadays. So that's a life project for them. The school leader should work on such topics, on such things. If a school principal wants, this thing should be happen in my school, it should happen. It will happen. In whatever the students come to the class, teachers teach them, that is a routine way process. Teaching is by heart. Teaching is not mechanical. Approx 1996, there was a seminar in Bareilly on the smart boards. One source person on the dais was telling that in the coming session, the smart boards will come and they will replace the teacher totally. I didn't interrupt him in the live session, but in the questionnaire, I raised my hand and I asked the question. Sir, I do agree in the languages, in the science subjects, the smart boards can replace the teacher, maybe. But in the mathematics, you have all the answers with you, you have all the lines with you, you have all the question made G with you, but still you need somebody to tell how the next step comes. I keep my head high, being a math teacher. I never bow down for that. Do you think still smart boards have replaced the teacher? Never. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, at the onset, uh, I'll uh, define a leader not because of his rank or the position that the person is holding, because that's not what leadership is. Leadership is a tremendous responsibility. And when you shoulder this responsibility, you have the power to influence all the stakeholders under your care. That could be your students, that could be your faculty, that could be all employees working under you. I won't say under you, but working with us. So it is important for a leader to ensure that all the team, the team means the faculty here, should be aligned to the vision that you wish to incorporate in the institution. And that vision has to be the vision of future. It's a sad scenario uh, when you see around some of the people who, who are on the, on the position where they can influence uh, so much change, they become complacent with the times. And sometimes they tow the uh, lines of the management. I'm going to touch a very sensitive thing, but it happens that a principal has to have the strength and the cudgels to say and speak the mind, to say that this is the need of the hour, and then have the sense of conviction to make that happen in the premises. When you are a leader, you have to make sure that the children get the best of the opportunities so that they become the best of the versions in the times to come. That they do not suffer the consequences of the academics that they were taught because of the lacunae that they found in the educational system. That you have to apprise them of all the skills and the competencies that are very, very important in today's times. When we talk about the VUCA world, it's the competencies that have made some of the people survive the trying times in the last two years. Your degrees did not hold good. So when you talk to the kid about business studies or you talk to them about science, make sure that they have visited the banks, that they have the know-how of how to fill a check or make a draft how the real world actually functions. Because if you have this cocoon with books approach, you're not going to do much favor to the kids who are the future of tomorrow. Kudos to, to CSE. I think we need passionate teachers. And if you have somebody in your premises who's a passionate teacher, please appreciate that person, no matter what. Appreciate your stuff that goes a long way in making a good leader. Listen. Listen to everybody. 
you are not a separate entity you are one of the team so if you walk the talk and you take your team along and you listen to them because they spend maximum time with the kids i think you do a world of good to the kids thank you i just like to uh, tilt the question out slightly uh, when we look at leadership how do you look at it from the point of view of achieving learning outcomes because one of the very important thing now we are talking of and is the outcome ultimately okay so marks whatever you get but ultimately are we achieving the desired outcomes which were expected out of the particular level grade or not so good afternoon everybody just as everybody was saying here we have expectations about the school leadership and the expectations have raised on so high that it is becoming a very big difficulty for the leaders the school leaders to manage those expectations we have to manage the management the students the teachers who are working with us the staff members the other members and the parents the society the whole society is watching what is this particular school doing the uh, everything everybody is watching that and these everything is been seen that the principal is doing the leader is doing this educating the students yes we have a uh, we have a criteria we have a curriculum we have everything but more important is educating the parents what is better for the for their child during the covid times i had when we were doing everything was going going on online i can give you one small little example one parent coming to uh, on the phone call the parent says that when everything is online the child is at our places we are managing the discipline of the child you are just giving you are just having the normal uh, online classes why the fee has to be paid and you you should pay the you should pay us because we are taking the we are doing your responsibility the discipline responsibility we are doing so educating the parents and everybody else that why what is important for your child you, the child the goal of the child is set bacche ko to ji humne bahar bhej dena i am talking about uh, this um, many of the parents i was working in a in a rural background school so 90% of the parents they have the have it in their mind that humne to bhai bacche ko yahan se 12th karani hai aur bacche ko bahar bhej dena hai so criteria of marks is not a criteria they just want eyelids to be cleared and then going the child has to go abroad what he is going to do abroad nothing is clear so clearing that the mind setup of the parent is also very very important for us as a leader for us as a leader only leading is not the thing only leading is not the thing becoming an example and making that work easier for you uh, for the students is more uh, encouraging uh, for that reason in our school we have started uh, we have started with a personality development program for classes 9th and above personality development and eyelids training in the school <laughs> campus itself because 99 and it is completely uh, it is not compulsory for the children it is completely uh, for the child if he wants to take it or not to, not to take it it is just a personality development and we are not encouraging the child to go out but we are helping the parents with it we are just helping the parents to uh, reach the goal which has been set by, set for the child because now it is the child also from the birth itself from the small younger age only the child is being told aapne to beta bahar chale jana hai and many of us from here also in this elite gathering ah hamare bhi bahut sare bacche bahar bahar hote hain bahar honge so it is a little bitter truth but it is a truth thank you thank sorry you. if can, i have hurt anybody here yeah. can, can we move uh, <laughs> i'm i'm extremely sorry we are again and again i've been told so be brief and maybe your ex quick experiences sure sir uh, recently we all have done the pedagogical leadership program and we all know that 25% of the impact that is of one single person which is the principal or the leader right but inspired by manna sir i was thinking uh, i'll make it brief and uh, a line is to be given so i thought ki i'll sum it up like this three words seekho sabhi ko batao 
बाकी सब के लिए मैं हूं ना बिकॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इम्पैक्ट इज टू मच सो वेन आई से सीखो वट डज दैट मीन लीडरशिप हैज गॉट मैनी डायमेंशन वी ऑल नो अबाउट दैट देर इज नो नीड टू टेल अबाउट दैट बट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड द वूका वर्ल्ड वेर द फ्यूचर इज अनोन वी डोंट नो विच काइंड ऑफ एवरीबडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द जॉब्स बींग गॉन ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप टू बी एनकरेज येस इन दैट वर्ल्ड हाउ डू वी प्रिपेयर आर चिल्ड्रन देर नो फ्यूचर प्रूफ करियर्स बट फ्यूचर प्रूफ स्किल्स आर डेफिनेटली देर सो वी हैव टू इम्पार्ट दो स्किल्स बट डू वी नो दैट डू आर टीचर्स नो अबाउट दैट सो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन ऑफ लीडरशिप दैट इज लीडरशिप फॉर लर्निंग दैट्स मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सी ई ओ सी ओ ओ चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर या चीफ एग्जेक्टिव ऑफिसर को काट देते हैं स्कूल में से सी एल ओ द चीफ लर्निंग ऑफिसर इज द प्रिंसिपल लेट मी टेल यू वी बिकम द रोल मॉडल वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट बींग रोल मॉडल तो रोल मॉडल किस में बनना है लर्निंग में भी बनना है from the coursera i did two courses one from yale university one from mcmaster and believe me all my teachers did after that because building the capacity of the teachers it is very very important when i say learning organization learning is for everyone all the stakeholders including teachers to sabse zyada hai i read a book by neela koraoras which says if you don't feed your teachers they will eat your students so what else can be said about the building the capacity of the teachers that's very very important right and then sir just one one more thing is very important which i would like to say it is addressing the cld cumulative learning deficit that again is the responsibility of ma- pr- the principal of all of us why because 95% 97% 98% <laughs> percent, hum fatafat board laga dete hain ki ye mera bachcha 40% परसेंट को कौन ओन करेगा सो दैट इज माई चाइल्ड मेरा स्कूल अच्छा तभी होगा अगर मैं फोर्टी परसेंट वाले बच्चे को फिफ्टी पे या सिक्सटी पे मैं ला सकती हूँ आई कैन नॉट डू द वंडर्स की आई ब्रिंग द चाइल्ड टू नाइन्टी परसेंट और नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट बट इतना ज़रूरी भी नहीं है बिकॉज अकेडमिक स्कोर्स आर नॉट एनफ होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट मॉडल वेयर ई क्यू आई क्यू एस क्यू ई एवरी थिंग इज टू बी कंसिडर फॉर दैट मैं हूँ ना सो so, uh, मुझे सीखना है मुझे सबको साथ लेना है कनेक्टिंग एंड कम्युनिकेटिंग विद द पेरेंट्स एज मैम आल्सो सेड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैं कॉम्पिटेंसी बेस्ड क्यों पढ़ा रही हूँ मैंने प्रोजेक्ट क्यों शुरू कर दिया मैंने रिसर्च बेस्ड क्यों शुरू कर दिया पेरेंट इज लुकिंग फॉर क्रैमिंग ऑफ मैथ सम स्टिल इफ आई डोंट कम्युनिकेट वाई वी आर डूइंग इट बिकॉज फ्यूचर ऐसा है कल को बच्चों को जॉब भी नहीं मिलेगी और वो कुछ नहीं कर पाएँ दिस इज़ वॉट आई नीड टू कम्युनिकेट विद द पेरेंट्स सो मुझे सीखना है मुझे सबको सिखाना है और कंड्यूसिव एनवायरमेंट देने के लिए मैं हूँ ना मैनेजमेंट और सबके बीच में ब्रिज थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सो मैनी न्यू थाट्स आ दिया यस प्लीज मैम गुड आफ्टरनून आई टोटली एग्री विद मैम दैट प्रिंसिपल इज द पर्सन हु इज़ हैविंग अ विजन and he or she shares with the teachers and with all the stakeholders of the school or, and whosoever comes there means you are transforming your vision and then only you are getting the result and if i we say that principal works or the leader that leadership quality that leader himself or herself can't work but yes it works it works through different different modes somewhere uh the principal works as in the direct mode direct mode uh, if i would say that principal is meeting with any student contacting with the person contacting with the students talking with him or her and touches him or her because when the principal is talking to a students really uh, is a big deal for a student and if later on come across we just come to the mediate way in the mediate way this is the main proper way when a leader or when a principal in the academic science we call it principal because he or she is the leader having a vision transforming it through the teachers through the management and they all are helping them to uh, provide it to transform it to their parents and the students because uh, as the cbse calls that we are here to teach for the parents also we not only have to teach to the students we have to teach the parents also because they don't understand 
they don't understand what is definitely required for the benefit for the development of their child they just want the, that particular marks must be there but how the child is getting the marks that is a big question and no one can wonder as the ma'am was saying no one can wonder but a principal can take the initiative if he or she is having vision she can guide and everywhere the leader will be there i just want to give a small example when i joined my school and there uh, in the classes we are having lots and lots of problem of the students who were not eligible for that particular class means their child is studying in 6th standard or 5th standard but the language issues were there they were not able to write properly they were not able to read properly and the parents were coming ki hamara bachcha to 5th mein padhta hai 6th mein padhta hai but usko us level ki information and knowledge nahi hai he or she is not understanding what to do and they don't want to pay even and uh, i must say that in our uh, locality there are mixed type of students some are from the rural background some are from the urban so rural background parents can't have the good teachers so we have started the concept of remedial classes and it really worked after two months we have seen the results and it's still those classes are there that is free of cost for the students the teachers uh, denote some times like half an hour they are providing different different teachers at different level they are there and those the students are getting the basic knowledge <laughs> Sorry. and uh, i would like as this, uh, sir is saying that we are not having much time so i don't want to take much time and other she is also standing also there so there. thank you okay. <laughs> yeah please maybe a two liner from yeah. each okay. one of the others yeah. so uh, i personally believe that uh, leadership is not a position it's an action whether this action is taken by the head of the institute or this action is taken by the team members because we can't walk alone we have to work in a team hand in hand cooperating coordinating and collaborating so in my team whenever there is anything any decision is to be taken everybody's suggestion matters no matter what the problem is what the initiative we have to take after accepting all these suggestions we come up to the best solution that is leadership because leadership is not only a vision of a particular individual it's a vision of all the members who are working in the same institute yes the role of a leader is to giving for giving the space the area the concern the ability to work to create a happy environment because today we don't need only an institute to work with we need a happy healthy and a happening learning environment so our duty or together the role of a leader is not to provide the platform to the parent or to the children it is for everybody and every stakeholder plays an important role so to conclude when you are not a leader it's about growing yourself but when you become a leader it's growing it's all about growing others so let us take the lead to help others grow in a positive manner so creating positive and happy environment is what we all should look after thank you thank you thank you namaste to all and thanks to this uh, time to grow media and sub jitne bhi yahan intellectuals who are sitting here from the various parts of the of india thank you very much for coming here and since morning we are learning a lot do we are we learning a lot or not raise your hands i am feeling so happy so privileged ki i have learned so many things right now here and mer mind mein sirf ek hi line abhi right now aa rahi hai so i i am value time i respect time everyone's time ek hi line hai sirf ki शिक्षक कभी साधारण नहीं होता ये चाणक्य की लाइन्स हैं शिक्षक कभी साधारण नहीं होता क्योंकि प्रलय और निर्माण दोनों उसी की गोद में पलते हैं वी टीचर्स आर नॉट सिंपल वी आर यूनिक वी आर द नेशनल बिल्डर्स वी हैव द ग्रेट लाइबिलिटी ओवर आर शोल्डर्स डॉक्टर है क्लिनिक बंद होने के बाद अपने घर जाके आराम से सो जाएगा पोल, जो पॉलिटिशियंस हैं वो भी सो जाएंगे इलेक्शन के बाद यस मुझे चेयर मिल गई नाउ आई एम हैप्पी कुछ नहीं है बट इट इज़ अ टीचर ओनली whose job is 24 into 7 all the time the teacher is awakening even in the dreams he is always thinking about the teaching method the progress of his students 
कि मैं अपने स्कूल में और क्या बेस्ट कर सकता हूँ कि मेरे स्कूल के बच्चे मेरे देश के बच्चे वर्ल्ड लेवल के ऊपर जाएं और हमारे जो मोदी जी साहब मोदी जी ने बोला है प्राइम मिनिस्टर साहब ने कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत हमें नौकरी के पीछे नहीं भागना वी हैव टू क्रिएट जॉब स्किल बेस्ड एजुकेशन वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड और यही एक ट्रू लीडरशिप है कि क्लास के जो कोने में बच्चा बैठा है जो कभी भी आगे नहीं आता उस बच्चे को यहाँ तक लेके आना दिस इज द लीडरशिप इन माय व्यू थैंक यू वेरी मच आई रिस्पेक्ट द टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच सर सो आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी हैव अ कंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम आई क्विकली सम इट अप सो अ स्टेटमेंट दैट स्कूल लीडरशिप इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट लर्निंग एंड नथिंग कैन कम क्लोज टू दैट दैट इज समथिंग विच इज वी कैन से लाइक पत्थर की लकीर बोल सकते हैं हम उसको बिकॉज दे आर द ओनली वन हु वर्क Uh, selflessly and are committed towards the overall development of the child and making child a better version of themselves so that's what they always do and talking about parents yes they have a very niche view about what a student's progress is but these are the the school leaders are the ones who brings the holistic view on how the holistic development is required and we understand that every individual has a uh the pace at which they identify and embrace change varies and that's why the second leadership comes into the picture which sir was talking about is school leadership is just one part of it and the other leadership which comes is where the think tank of india niti aayog introduced nep 2020 that's a leadership move that was being introduced and that's a policy we should do our best to make it successful nep 2020 and we at kidex are committed towards it and we want to make india the human capital hub of the world and it can only happen when school leaders do what they do the best it's leading the education system of the country and that's how we can work towards making nep 2020 a successful uh, thing and making india human glo global capital hub of the world thank you thank, thank, thank you, you so much, much. now uh, it was wonderful session little lengthy session but it was quite interesting thank you so much for the uh, contribution in this panel discussion and i would like to request harsh pal singh khurana sir founder and md of tab school for honoring all the speakers first to dr piyush gupta sir dr chitra anand <coughs> dr vandana sahi ma'am anju mehta ma'am डॉक्टर दिव्या भसीन मैम अच्छा ओके अपराजिता गुप्ता मैम ओके अंजू मेहता मैम Sorry if I pronounce wrong or if the <laughs> Anju Mehta, ma'am. Anil Mukhija, sir. डॉक्टर गुरमीत कौर गिल अनिल मुखी जा सर राजीव कुमार शुक्ला सर डॉक्टर राज सांगवान सर अच्छा मैम सर सॉरी Excuse me, हाँ huh? <laughs> But uh, your line was too good. शिक्षक कभी साधारण नहीं होता सर ने तो बहुत अच्छा बताया ही 
मोहब्बत है सर अब मैं भी नहीं भूलने वाली हूँ <laughs> भाविक खुराना सर तो पसंद है